So today I want to walk you through the contact list or the main client within Skype for Business. The reason I want to walk you through is some great features and functionality in this that I think is important to call out. The first one is you can see in the new Skype inspired user interface is that we're actually using the Skype presence indicators. In these, we can identify if a user is available, if they're inactive, or if they're in a conference call, as well if somebody chooses to be on Do Not Disturb. You also have a couple of other key features. One is what's happening today. So I might put in here, recording a train, the trainer session. And then anybody that happens to know me and see me, they'll actually see, just like you see here with Think, Do, and Scale, they'll see that I'm recording a train, the trainer session. The other element to this that I really wanted to call out is that it, Right from this, I have the ability to look at people based on the groups that they're in. So are they in my favorites? Are they in finance or legal? Also, the ability to check them based on status. This is one that I typically use when I need to find somebody that's online for my team. I'll go in here and look to see who's available. As well, you can also base it on relationships. Are they colleagues? Are they in your work group? Are they friends and family? But the big piece I really wanted to make sure that you understand in this is how to add somebody. So I'm going to show you what it's like to add Katie, who is on my team, but I didn't have her in my contacts list yet. So I type in Katie Jordan. It pulls it from the Skype for Business servers, and I have the ability to come in and add her to my contact list. Now, typically, I'd say, oh, I'll add her to external or to finance or one of those. But really, I talked to Katie so much, I wanted to make sure I add her to my favorites. I also can copy that same contact to a different location within Skype for Business. So in this case, she's part of the marketing team, and so I'd make sure to add her to our marketing contacts. And as you can see down here, there's Katie. <laughs>